If you grew up in Ontario during the 70s and 80s, there's a good chance you watched the classic show Polka Dot Door, and it had an iconic character, Pokaroo. He'd make surprise appearances on the show. Well, now one of the men who used to be inside that costume has gotten a shock of his own. The broadcaster sent him this cease and desist letter because of his new ruse, including Tokaroo. Hmm, Pokaroo, Pokaroo. Meet Mark Scott. For more than two decades, Scott was the man inside the mascot, performing as Pokeroo at TVO-sanctioned events. For 22 years, I was the meet-and-greet guy. When the Queen came for the Royal Winter Fair, when Colin Powell brought what was then called America's Promise. As Pokeroo. As Pokeroo. And now he's expanded his Roo repertoire. We've got Pookie Roo, we've got Rainbow Roo, we have uh, Ready Roo, Tokaroo, and Signaroo. Signaroo uh, will deal with s signing as a deaf character who will sign. Tokaroo will talk about responsible drug use. It's the red eyed Roo that caught the attention of the provincial broadcaster, and they've sent Scott this cease and desist order for all of the Roos by tomorrow. In the letter sent to Scott, TVO cites their trademark rights and called his characters a real threat of tarnishing Pokaroo's reputation as the mascot for TVO. To the extent that you have the name of a character that is trademarked and someone else uh, is using the same name in a similar uh, way, in a similar trade, then that would constitute infringement. Um, if they kind of alter it slightly, then there's, there's kind of a question of whether or not that would be trademark infringement. We asked TVO if they thought legal action was a good use of money for the public broadcaster. Their only response to us, this cease and desist order. Scott says he plans to run educational online videos using his cast of ruse. These characters won't be talking like Pokeroo. They're re they do represent subject matter and they will uh, they are copyright characters that are very different from Pokaroo's original look. Tokaroo plans to continue to blaze its own trail. Today, the kangaroo visited the Toronto sign at City Hall. The Roo even made a cameo on City News last week on Legalization Day. I'm hanging out with Tokaroo right now here at Trinity Bellwood. Will you take him out again tomorrow and maybe the next day and the next day? Yes, and he will only smoke in designated areas. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Scott says he's not afraid of any potential legal action from TVO, though he says he is open to changing the names a little bit, but there's no way he's dropping the rue.